In this video, we'll solve this difficult puzzle from Nikolai Publishing's Expert Sudoku. It's puzzle number 290. This puzzle had a, has a lot of corner patterns, which help us by giving us twins and triplets. We'll work off those to find a solution to this puzzle pretty quickly. You can also go to sudokuprimer.com to learn about the corner pattern and other patterns and techniques along with a lot of um, other Sudoku information. If you like these videos, please click like and click this red subscribe button below. After you subscribe, you can click on the bell icon if you'd like to get notified every time a video is published. And I like getting comments. If you have any questions or you want to share your thoughts, please leave a comment. I always appreciate all of the comments I get from you. Well, let's talk about the corner pattern first. The corner pattern is when you have four numbers all bunched into a corner, leaving a column and a row with empty cells. Now, what you can do with the corner pattern is look for twins and triplets by looking at the row and the column to see if there are two numbers in the row or the column that isn't already in the puzzle. And if you find two numbers, then you'll, um, you'll have twins and a set of triplets, both twins and triplets. Here we've got a 3 and a 5. There's a 3 and a 5 already in here, so that won't work. Here's a 3 and an 8, and there's already a 3 and an 8 in this box. So we can't see any twins or triplets here. But here in, the, in box 4, we have a, a corner pattern, and we have a 2 and a 9 in this column. So these are two nine twins. Here we have um, another corner pattern, and we have a one and a six in column nine. So these are one six twins. And in this box here, box eight, we have a seven and a nine going through this row already, which covers these three cells. So we have seven nine twins. That means with these seven nine twins, we have one, two, six triplets here. Here with these one, six twins, we have two, seven, nine triplets. And with the two nine twins, we have one, three, six triplets here. And we'll, we'll be using those as we go. I did notice we have a, a four, five here and four, five here already and a 4-5 here, so we have 4-5 twins right here. And there's a 5 there already, so we can put the 5 here and the 4 there. We've also got an 8 here, 8 here, 8 here, and 8 here, so that's an 8 right there. Alright, now let's look at this row right here. We've only got three numbers so far, but we do have a set of twins here, 1 and 6. So we know what these four numbers are. They are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 9. 2, 3, 7, and 9. And here we have a 2, 7, and a 9, so we know that's a 3. All right, so you see how these 1, 3 twins help us there. And then we have a 2, 7, and 9 here because of these 1, 6 twins. Um, we know these are 2, 7, and 9 because of those. And we've got two 9 twins right here because of this corner pattern, so we know that's a 7. And with that 7, we can fill in this 7. One of these has to be a 7 because of these, but we know we have 7 9 twins here. Therefore, we have ghost 7s here, so that can't be a 7. So we put a 7 there. And uh, with these seven, ghost sevens here and seven there, we can put a seven there. All right. And now let's look at what's left in this column here. We've got a uh, um, two and nine here, two nine twins. Let's see what we're missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 3, 4, 5, and 8. Okay, we got a 3 and a 5 here and a 3 and a 5 here, so these are 4, 8 twins right there. So that leaves that a 3 or a 5 and that a 3 or a 5. OK, 
Okay. And then with these four eight twins, we got a four and an eight here, and four eight twins there. So these are four and eight that we can solve. All right. And um, now we've got a four eight here and a four and an eight here and a four and an eight here so we need we know these are four eight twins right there all right so um, that's good information we can't solve them yet but we know there are four eight twins right there all right let's look at uh, let's see let's look at this column right here we've got um, two nine twins here, so th we know these are one or s one and six here, one six twins there. So we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, seven, eight here in this column. There's a five and a seven, so that's a four or an eight. Oh, look at that, we got four eight twins here. We have four eight twins there and four eight twins there. Okay, so we're missing four, five, seven, and eight here. That's a four or an eight, five or a seven. Oh, here's a four, five, and an eight, so we can put a seven in there, which leaves five, four, five, and eight, and there's a four and an eight there, so that's a five. Okay, so now we have one, six twins there, four, eight twins there. We'll remember those, because we have four, eight twins, four, eight twins, four, eight twins, and four, eight twins. So you can see how these corner patterns are really helping us find a lot of numbers here. And with this 7 here, we can solve the 7, 9 twins that we know of right there. All right. And now um, we have 1, 2, 6 triplets here. We have 4, 8 twins. So we only have two numbers that are missing. What are, miss what are we missing here? 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three and five go here and here. There we have three five twins there, and there's a five there, so we can put those in. And we also know that's a three right there, because we have two nine twins here. Uh, the only numbers left with these one six twins in box six, and four eight twins there. So we know that's a three. All right, now let's look at, uh, let's see, we've got a nine there. We've got two nine twins here, so we have ghost nines there. We've got a nine here, so we have ghost nines here. So we know the nine in box six has to go here or here because of this nine, but these are one six twins, so we know that's a nine. And with that nine, we can fill in the two because we know those are two nine twins. All right. And now we only have one number left in this row because these are one six twins there, so that has to be a two. Okay. And with that two, we have a two here and a two here. Ghost two's there, so that's a two right there. All right, now we only have two numbers left here in box nine. There's, and there's, that's two and three, and there's a three there. So we can finish those. All right, now we've got a five and a five and a five and a five. So that's a five right there. And we got a nine here and four eight twins there and a nine there. So we know that's a nine. All right, with that nine, we got, no, that's a nine right there. And remember we had ghost nines here, ghost nines here. So we know with that nine that that's a nine right there. All right, now we only have three numbers left in row five, one, three, and six. There's a three there and a three there. So these are one six twins and the three fits right there because these one six twins right there. All right. And we can, uh, 
we can finish those because we only have one number missing there. That's a 6. That makes that a 1, that a 6, and that a 1. Now let's see, we have a only missing one and six here. We've got a one there already, so we can fill in that six there and that one there. Now we're missing two four, two and four in this column right here. That leaves a six there. We know that can't be a 4 because we have 4, 8 twins here. So that's a 2, and that's a 4. And then um, with these 4, 8 twins, we know that's a 1 right there. So let's see. So now we have the we had one six twins there that we found right away. We can fill those in now because of that one right there. All right. Now we have um, we only have one number missing in this column right here. We have three four nine, four three nine, and five six eight. There's an eight there, a five there. So that's a six right there. That makes these 2 and 7. There's a 2 there. And uh, with this 4 here, we can solve our 4 8s here. And we know that's a an 8 because of our 4 8 twins. And also the only number left. And we can fill in the 4 8 twins here now. All right, now we're missing uh, 4 and 6 in this row right here, and there's a 4 there. And uh, we're only missing 1 and 7 there, and there's a 7. Now we've got two 6 twins there and one 9 twins there, so we can put in the 9 and the 1 and the 2 and the 6 and now we've got the two 9 twins that we originally found and we can solve them now 2 and 9 and that's it alright so with uh, um, corner patterns if you can find a set of twins you've automatically got a set of triplets like right here, we had a, we found these ones. We had one six here, so we found these one six twins right away. So we knew those were two seven and nine. So we had a set of twins and a set of triplets for each corner pattern. Once we found a set of twins, here we found a seven and nine there, seven nine. So we knew we had one two six triplets there. So, well, I hope you enjoy these videos and hope this helps solidify how the corner pattern can be used. Happy Sudoku solving to all of you.